My word is uh, bricolage, and it's spelt B-R-I-C-O-L-A-G-E. That's bricolage. It's a French word originally. In English it means, I suppose the closest approximation would be something like um, DIY. So if you go to a, a, a store in France, a department store in France, there will be, there'll be a rayon bricolage, which means the DIY section of the store. It is actually used in its French form in English, uh, bricolage. And um, if you open, um, I think, you know, any kind of standard uh, dictionary of art terms, you'll find the term there, bricolage, with, with an explanation of what it means. Well, basically, it's, um, it describes a, a kind of construction or creation of something from diverse elements, a, a kind of collection of elements, um, parts, um, that come from different places and are just put together in a certain kind of combination. If you think, for example, on the level of you know, like anatomy or whatever, if you think of, say, the reptilian jawbone in evolutionary terms, that would, at further stage in evolution, turn into, for example, the part of the inner ear uh, in mammals. Now, that's not really a kind of pre-engineered solution. It just kind of happens after the event, and it's a kind of opportunistic almost use of pre-existing uh, structures. So I think that's, that's true, that uh, in a sense, bricolage does describe a process as a kind of ongoing evolutionary process, but it's not one that's sort of predetermined. It's kind of something that happens after the event. I think one way of thinking about bricolage would be, thinking, would be saying what it's not and what it might be opposed to. And if you think about, for example, uh, cinema, if one's talking about the arts, if one's talking about cinema, you've got Stanley Kubrick's um, 2001, and you've got uh, Ridley Scott's Blade Runner, two science fiction films. Both of those films, if you want, there's, there's lots of technology in them. There's lots of constructions, um, sort of created technology. And if you look at Kubrick's 2001, what you get is very sort of purely engineered, pre-engineered technology. There's, there's lots of white, there's lots of black and white, silver, that kind of thing, the kind of, in terms of colours and the, the kind of vision of technology that's given in those, in those films. And everything is, is, is kind of in its place, if you want, and sort of pre-thought pre -thought through. If you look at uh, Ridley Scott's Blade Runner, what you get is, well, you know, one, the vision is much, a much kind of darker one. The, the, the technology is a lot grimier, you could say. But it's all, uh, lots of the technology feels as though it's been put together after the act. It's not, not as though it's pre-engineered. It's almost like it's been retro-engineered, or think, I think the term is retrofitted. And, uh, and of those two films, if you look at those two films together, you could say that the, the bricolage would be represented by Ridley Scott's film. I think a better way maybe of looking at bricolage from the point of view of the artist would be to look at um, what happened in 20th century art, for example, where there's a kind of, there's an associated word, really, which, which I think we all understand again, which comes from French, which is collage. And that comes from the French verb coller, which means to stick together. And what the um, European French collage people were doing, artists were doing, was taking things from lots of different places that didn't seem really to belong together and sticking them all onto uh, one um, canvas. You think of uh, somebody like Braque or Picasso, for example, had these collages which, which they constructed and which weren't kind of, as it were, pre-thought through as, you know, this is a, a harmonious painting with everything in its place. There's lots of kind of almost like interruptions and, and funny angles. It's a word that goes back a long way, like lots of words, um, uh, you know, it goes back centuries. But um, in the 20th century, middle of the 20th century, um, uh, the famous anthropologist, French thinker, Claude Lévi-Strauss, um, came up with a term in a book of his called La Pensée Sauvage, which translates more or less, it's not the best translation, as the savage mind. And in that book, what he was describing or trying to describe was ways of thinking which are unlike um, our modern scientific, if you want, supposedly rational ways of thinking, the kind of ways of thinking that have been used by humans for thousands of years and which still exist in, you could say, traditional societies. Some people say primitive societies. That's not the right term. You, know, you could say, you know, sort of non-Western societies, one could say, the kind of societies that anthropologists look at. Bricolage is, is a way, really, of, um, it's a metaphor, really, for what Lévi-Strauss sees as um, savage thought. And he says that bricolage can be compared to mythical thinking. He says the way myths are told is almost like a kind of bricolage, he says, because they're, they recycle, if you want, elements, old pieces of, um, of social memory, of other myths.